Okay, here we go. <coughs> here we go. You say when I found a body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Conjunction. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Okay. No more new need to press either. Hmm, I see you had a fight saying the, the time on that tape program. My god, George, you sure are thick. Mr. Wright, you may have a cross examined witness. Wait! You know what to do. Oh, I've got this one. Then what you do? I know this one is. This is the easiest one ever. It was. Now everyone knows that there was a blackout. So let's present that. Hold it right there. That prosecution has said there was a blackout, blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. <gasps> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. <gasps> Well, uh... The French has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Starwitz? No, I am trying to quote Percy myself, wait. <gasps> wait, wait, wait a minute. Mr. Starwitz, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Those constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather destroyed. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It died. It must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sorry. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. I think that's the contraction, I think. That must have been what I saw. Ah, uh, that was quite easy. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. Well, the friends may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Oh god, my father's... Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? <gasps> With your injections and your evictions. Guess who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Starry. Who? Hey, I'm in the sight now. Okay, that's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Fine. As the right is stated, this is the chooser's day of clock. Knock is a switch. You just tilt it and you see it's the time out the hell. As it is a real life clock, I'm somebody as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testament was quick. This is a clock. Do you have any doublings with his testament now? Um, yes, I do actually. Your Honor, there was a gaping hole in the witness testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a conjunction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You went inside the apartment on the day of the murder. <laughs> oh yeah, proof! Proof I went in there. Oh, you're better than that. I can prove you're the one who killed her. You struck over the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Man, he looks small. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wyatt. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sarwin, the sound must have been quite an impression on you. 
Understandable, since the murder weapon sparked just as she hit the victim, her voice was bandied to your mind. That's why you're so certain about the time. What? What? Moon harvest! This is our baseless conduction! Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! No! Right, the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I got that though, I, I no. Look, I the clock, I got, no, I mean, so, 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 ah. Ah. My god, that was a throw. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death. Man, he looks completely different like that. Order, and order. Order in the court, I say. Joanna, a moment, please. There is a... <coughs> there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is well done on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Sir heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's... 8.25! That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. White? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time is it now? It's 11.25! <gasps> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the difference between what Mr. Sayrat heard and the extra time of death. So, Mr. Sayrat, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha! Ha ha ha! You forgot one thing! What's he talking about? Why it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow? It proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you have... You don't have a case! Mm. Is what? How am I going to prove that? Damn it! I was so close! Mr. White! It seems you lack like the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict, indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends a cross examination of Mr. Frank Sayrit. I come all the way down here just to testify, and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Bruh, I almost heard him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Objection. No. Oh. Not so fast, Mr. Sewitt. Maya, I mean, you. Listen up, Mike. Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But shit, it's over. I can't prove the heart would slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't do win. Try thinking out the box. Don't waste time doubting the clock. Soon the clock was be hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock be hours slow? Speak out the reason and you have your proof. Wait, Miss White, can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be be hours slow? Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence someone that can prove it, right? Find you and let them have it. Well, Mr. White, you say the clock was already winning slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence that support this claim? Of course, there is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Let's see you pull this one off. 
Rip Sheeta, 7 times that freeze water clock was when he slogged. 